What's up guys, Garrett here with Self Taught Dev. Today we're gonna to talk about what you need to know to become a web developer in 2019. I got a new webcam, if you can tell. I can't really tell the difference, honestly. But I don't have to set my phone up anymore, so that's gonna be way better. Cause there's been times where I can't shoot videos cause my phone's at like 3%. And if I start shooting a video with my phone as a webcam, it'll die. But anyway, back to the video. Um, sorry, I have ADD as I've said in other videos. What you need to know to become a web developer in 2019. So first things first, you need to know HTML and CSS. Well, that's not CSS. Good try though. HTML and CSS, okay? Um, you can learn these anywhere you want. Um, what is this? This actually looks like, I like this design. It's got my attention now, it's kind of cool. Building your first web page, okay. This might be a good resource. I don't know, I'll have to check this out. Yeah, this looks decent. All right, found it completely by accident as I was shooting this, but I'll have a link to this in the description. Um, this looks like it might be a decent place to learn HTML and CSS. The other places I recommend, um, if you're serious and you're like, hey, I will spend the next year to year, uh, next one year, next two years, next three years of my life studying this, building projects and getting better, because I want to become a web, a web developer no, no matter what. I recommend Team Treehouse and signing up for their tech degree. Um, it's a little pricey. It's two hundred dollars a month, but they have it structured in a way that makes it super easy to learn. They have really professional-looking projects. Uh, let's see. These are a few of them. Actually, all of these are Team Treehouse projects. So they have really professional-looking projects. Um, they basically just give you the mock-up and tell you what to do and then you build it on your own PC. So you have to like think critically, you have to figure out how to do it, which I mean, you're, so you're gonna be Googling stuff, like how do I put the button here? Um, I mean, they teach you that stuff in the videos too, but there's still some stuff you have to Google. And it's like you're, it's basically like you're a real web developer because you get the mock-up and you just have to build it. So if you can afford it, Team Trials is a great place to go. I'll have a link in the description. They give you like a seven day free trial if you wanna sign up there. But I just really like the way it's structured. Um, they've got the learning down pretty good. And it's all videos too, so I really like the videos. I'm not a fan of just like reading text. And then they've got interactive, um, they got exercises and quizzes too. So uh, next place I recommend to learn HTML and CSS is code, eh, I don't know if this is above free code camp actually. Mm. I don't know, maybe this is equal with free code camp. So this is another choice. Um, their pricing is a lot better. It's like $200 for six months or like 19 bucks a month or 39 bucks a month. I don't know, one of those two, um, probably 39, I don't know. But yeah, they've got like decent stuff. They've got they've got courses that cover a, a wide range of topics aside from HTML and CSS. And I mean, Team Treehouse does too. But this is another good place to start learning HTML, CSS. They've got this career path where you start off with basic HTML, then you get to CSS, then you learn some JavaScript, which is what you need to learn after HTML and CSS. So another good place to learn. Um, and then the last one I recommend is Free Code Camp. This one's free, so you can get started with this tonight. Pause the video, go sign up for Free Code Camp, and start learning right now. This is their curriculum. Uh, they start off with a basic HTML, and then basic CSS, and more CSS, more CSS, accessibility, responsive design principles, Flexbox, Grid, and then they have some projects for you. So if, you, if you're cool with the text, just like, because this is what one of their things is like. Uh, if you're cool with just reading text, not having any videos, uh, the projects don't look super good. So if you can mess around with the projects, make the design look good, if you're cool with the text, this is definitely the place for you. Because they've got a lot of information on here and then they've got a bunch of take-home projects too and projects that's the most important part of the learning process you can watch like just because you watched an html and css course on udemy and you coded along with them doesn't mean you know html and css uh we have a we have a lot of we were entering yeah, we were interviewing interns the past like june yeah june pretty much um 
Uh, I think we only interviewed like seven people, but we have a really simple test in our work. Um, we just say, hey, all right, make a button element. And then we do some additional stuff after that. The button part, that's not supposed to be hard. You're just supposed to use a button tag and make a button. But a lot, like, I think we only had one guy that actually used a button tag. Now, granted, it's an intern position. Um, but, I mean, all we wanted you to know is, like, HTML and CSS. And we were just kind of getting let down. Like, people were using, somebody used a div with a P tag inside and then wrote button inside it. Somebody used input and then made the type button or submit, I think. Which, I mean, that's not, like, entirely wrong. It's just an odd way to do it when there's an actual button element. And, yeah, we only had one guy that actually used the button element, which is kind of disappointing. Anyway, um, I don't know where I was going with that. But, yeah, free code camp, definitely a good place to learn. So, after you learn, like, what you can do with HTML and CSS, so, like, let's say you watched a video. This part's really important. This is how you can not be like the interns that didn't know how to make a button tag. You need to build at least four to five projects in just HTML and CSS. Go pick out a few of your favorite websites. Uh, this is what Coding Phase, I don't know what his name is. This is what the Coding Phase dude says all the time. I don't know your name, man. I'm sorry if you see this. Uh, just go like the Google homepage. This can be your first project. Pull up a HTML file in Atom and just code Google here. Build this. This can be your first one uh, that we can do. Not that. Not that either. What's uh, another cool site? Uh, Airbnb. Nah, that might be a little, little advanced, but hey, just like, go to your favorite sites and build the homepage of your favorite sites. Do that five or six times, and then you'll have a at least a decent foundation in HTML and CSS. Then after that, we're gonna learn JavaScript. Um, Regardless of which of these places you choose to go to to learn, um, they're pretty much all set up like this. You learn HTML, CSS, and then you learn JavaScript. If you don't know, HTML is kind of like the house. CSS is like the interior design, and then JavaScript is like the electricity that, that powers everything, kind of, and makes it all interactive, I guess, you could say. But yeah, so HTML, CSS, and then JavaScript. Code, uh, free code camp they have some really good stuff on basic JavaScript like they've got a lot of exercises where you can practice most of it's kind of like I'd say more scripting instead of like Dom manipulation which is what you're gonna be doing more of if you're a front-end web developer Dom manipulation is just basically like insert inserting elements with JavaScript or making like a drop-down menu stuff like that so once you learn JavaScript Again, go build like another three to four projects using HTML and CSS and JavaScript. That's gonna make you stronger in HTML and CSS so that when you come to a play, uh, to an interview and they're like, hey, build this page, you can be like, okay, I can do that, no problem. Um, and then add interactivity to it. Or if you're lazy, just go back to the first four projects you made and make like a drop down menu for it, um, add stuff. No, don't do that, don't be lazy, sorry. So, I mean, you can copy the projects I have here. Like, build a hangman game with JavaScript and HTML. Open that. Um, what's another one? You can build a photo gallery. You can build a tic-tac-toe game. You can make them look exactly like this. Just don't steal the code. Code it yourself. And that's just where you click on a button. And I don't know what the words are anymore. But yeah, you click on buttons. If you get it wrong, you lose lives. And then it's asked if you want to start again. Uh, I don't know what the words are. Huh. Photo gallery. This one uses jQuery, so it's kind of dated. But it uses a jQuery Lightbox plugin. jQuery is a... I don't know if it's, like a, I don't know if it's a library or a framework. I don't know what it's called, really. But jQuery is like an extension of JavaScript that helps you write JavaScript faster. Make, don't use jQuery, use vanilla JavaScript in these three projects you're going to build because I feel like I'm rambling a lot in this video, but we're only at 10 minutes, so I'm good. I'm going to keep going. Fuck it. Um, use vanilla JavaScript in these, not jQuery, not React. Use vanilla JavaScript in these next three. Why? Because you need to know how basic JavaScript works. 
that's pretty much it. Uh, if you know how basic JavaScript works, basic JavaScript works, it's going to be way easier to learn something like React or Vue or Angular um, or jQuery or any other JavaScript framework or library. So got to get the basics down before you can go into that stuff. That's what the interns and a lot of people we interview mess up on. They will watch a video on Udemy of HTML and CSS and they're like, all right, I know HTML and CSS. And then they just go straight into React or straight into view and they don't have a foundation in HTML and CSS so when we give them a test and we're like hey build this in HTML and CSS they can't do it so that's why I'm saying you need to build four to five projects in HTML and CSS then learn JavaScript build another three to four projects um, in HTML CSS and JavaScript because that'll get you a solid foundation in HTML and CSS and then start building your solid foundation in JavaScript now, as far as applying for jobs, like right after you get done learning HTML and CSS, one of those four projects, one of those four or five projects should be a portfolio. So build a portfolio like this and then have your four other projects that you built right here. The Google homepage, Facebook homepage, what other, other random site, and some other random site. And then you can start applying for jobs because you have to have a portfolio um, to start applying. You don't have to, it just helps a lot. Because, and then you can start applying here because we, with our interns, like all we wanted was somebody who could do like HTML and CSS. So you can get an internship, you might be able to get a job just doing HTML and CSS, but it'll, if you get a job, it'll at least it let you start getting some work experience. If you don't get a job, hopefully you'll get some interviews and you'll get some technical interview experience. Um, so yeah. So we're at step one, learn HTML and JavaScript, build four to five projects. Step two, uh, I'm sorry, start over. Step one, learn HTML and CSS, build, three, uh, build four to five projects. Step two, learn JavaScript, build another three to four projects. Step three, uh, this is where you can start learning Angular, React, Vue, whatever framework you want. Um, what I'd probably do is go to Indeed, and wherever you live, just type in front end, uh, just type in front end developer jobs, and see what framework is popular. Um, if you live in a big city, go to Free Code Camp meetups. Uh, not just Free Code Camp meetups. Go to any meetups and talk to developers, see what frameworks are popular in the area, and learn that. Because you don't want to learn Angular if nobody in your area uses Angular. Because then it's going to be way harder to get a job unless you're wanting to move somewhere else. Okay, so that from there, um, it kind of depends on where you want to go. Uh, whether you want to build like, whether you want to focus on mobile apps, um, a lot of different branches break off from there. So we're just gonna end it right there. Again, reviewing step one, learn HTML and CSS on either Team Treehouse, Code Academy, Free Code Camp, anywhere online. Build four to five projects in HTML and CSS. Learn JavaScript, build another three to four projects in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. After you learn HTML and CSS, start applying. After you learn JavaScript, keep applying. Uh, after you build those three to four projects, learn either React, Angular, or Vue, depending on what's popular in your area. And from there, just keep building projects, keep practicing, keep getting better. Go to meetups, network. Um, honestly, networking is probably gonna be the easiest way to find your first job as a front-end developer because you don't have to try and make it past HR people. Um, it's your first web developer job is probably going to be at like a startup because they're willing to take more of a chance, I guess you could say, on you and invest in new talent. And also it's going to be way easier to make it past the HR people because if like in big companies, if they see that you don't have any web developer experience, they're usually just going to trash your resume. Um, Actually, I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that. They might, they might not. Hey, we don't know. So 
those are the steps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any feedback, let me know. If you think there's different steps you should follow, post it in the comments. Um, we have a Discord if you want to go hang out in the Discord. Andrew... Yeah, Andrew just got a job. I'm sorry, it's like late and I'm blank. Uh, my mind's blank. Yeah, he just got a job like a week or two ago. Um, so that was pretty exciting. But yeah, you can come talk about talk to other people who are trying to get jobs as web developers. Ask me questions. Ask Andrew questions because he got a job. Um, talk about your experience. All that fun stuff. Again, there's a link to Team Treehouse, Code Academy, and Free Code Camp in the description. If you need links for any of those, I'll have a link to my portfolio too. I do um, resume reviews if you don't want to like review your resume or give you any feedback um, or on your portfolio. And I will see you next time. Peace.